Hi, this is Joel from the Relay team. I'm going to show you today how you can get verified within the Relay app with nothing more than your mobile phone and the passport or any form of identification. To get started, you obviously need to download the Relay app, open it, and once I'm doing this right here, you'll see the app on my right-hand side. Uh, you basically need to go into the profile menu. And once you're there, you need to click into the third section, the your wallet level section. And once you're there, you'll see a screen, which level you're currently at. I want to unlock level two now so that I can have uh, higher trading limits and uh, don't need to worry about uh, daily limits. To get started, you need to hit the button, continue unlocking level two. Once you do this, you get to the first screen where you need to enter an email address. Please do so now. Once you've entered the email address, you can hit continue. And you'll get to the next screen where we'll ask you if you want to identify with an identity card or a passport. Please be careful that you don't use a residence permit, your driving license. And if you either have your identity card or your passport, I've got my passport here with me today, you'll need to make sure that you actually have uh, the identification method with you. We don't accept any photocopies or pictures of documents. I'm going with the passport today, so I'll hit this one. And once you've hit that, you'll now see the screen where you need to scan your document. So it's time to open up your passport, hit next and scan your inner page of that passport. Once your document is scanned, you'll see an overview and a picture of it. If it's readable and you can see everything clearly, hit next. And now comes a bit of a tricky part. If you've got the passport with you, you actually need to read the NFC chip. And you do know if you have an NFC chip, if you have the chip symbol on your passport, Pro tip here, if you're scanning it with your phone, try and scan it in the lower section of the passport. So somewhere in the lower end here, this is where the chips are usually located and the app will pick it up the quickest. So let's do this now. And you'll see then blue bubbles popping up, uh, showing the progress of how far along we are with the scan. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a success screen and it will take a few minutes or a few seconds at this point until everything is uploaded. Once that is done, you'll then go into the second step where we need to take a picture of your face to actually verify that you're the person with all of the data in this passport. Don't be scared. You'll see a lot of flashing colors and such. They shouldn't harm you or anything. It will also not be too long. So get started by clicking continue. And once this is done, you'll then see that there is a check mark. And if that is correct, you'll move to the next screen where you then will see all of the available data from that passport and all of these things. So we'll hit continue now. You'll see here that is all of my data. Uh, the birth date is there and stuff. I need to confirm that I'm not a US citizen, which I'm luckily not. Uh, otherwise, it would be pretty hard to use Relay, but I'll do so now and hit continue. And you'll then get to the overview screen where you need to select which industry you're in, what your employment status is currently, uh, where you, your funds are coming from, what you plan to do with these funds, uh, what the usage intent is, and mostly what is your yearly income. So fill out all of these details now. Once you've entered all of these details, we will now need to verify your home address. We do so now by activating the geotag in your phone. Your phone's settings will also ask you for permission here. All you need to do now is enter your home address and confirm that this is your residential address. Once that is done, you will get to the next screen where you need to enter your tax residency. It's already selected based on your address. If that is correct, please hit confirm. And once that is done, the final step is that you'll then need to enter a mobile phone so that we can also verify you with an SMS message once again. So enter your phone now, hit that you're accepting all of the terms and go from there on out. We will now send you a six digit code via SMS. And this one should be coming in any second now with me. There we go. You can then hit continue. And once that is done, you've gone through the entire verification process. It's very straightforward, very quick and easy. You will now need to wait a few minutes until it's being verified. Once it is, you can go back into your wallet level. You'll then see that you're on the new level and you can get started right away buying more Bitcoin with new trading limits. I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you've got any questions or remarks, leave them in the comment below and I look forward to seeing you next time again. Mm -hmm.